If you want your photography to be the very best that it can be, then there is a vital ingredient that you need in your images. The good news is that you already have this ingredient inside of you. It's just a case of tapping into it. I know that you can, and today I'm going to show you how. How's it, how's it? My name is Alex, and you know, it's fantastic to see you again. And if this is the first time that you are visiting the channel, then welcome. Welcome, and thank you for being here. Yesterday, I had the pleasure of spending time talking to one of South Africa's most beloved photographers, a man called Obi Olberhauser, who is well known for injecting his photographs with a hundred percent enthusiasm. In addition to being an art photographer, he was also a lecturer in photography for a while, and we were talking about advice that he would give, you know, a photographer who wanted to improve their photographs. He responded by saying that photography is a ship. It is a ship that will not venture out of port unless its sails are filled with the winds of passion. And today I'm going to teach you how to take that passion that you already have for photography, to channel it in the right direction and to fuel it so that your own ship can sail out there to discover creative inspiration that lies just beyond the horizon. At the end of the video, I'm going to share with you one of my own favorite sources for inspiration recently, and I think it's going to really surprise you. As we go through this video and talking about how to tap into your passion for photography to the fullest, you may have some ideas about ways that you know you can find your own inspiration. And, and please do write them down. Share them with us in the comments section so that we can all get a better idea about the individual ways that we are enthusiastic about photography. Of course, it goes without saying that, that passion is unique to all of us and, and we all express ourselves in different ways. Some people may be loud, may be excitable like a raging fire, and others might be that kind of slow moving, you know, still waters run deep kind of person who, who carries so much latent power within them. So right at the beginning of this, don't think that perhaps because you don't conform to these stereotypes about you know, passion, that you are not passionate. Make no mistake, the fact that you are investing in your photography enough to watch videos like this one shows that you have a passion. You have a passion to improve, to be the very best photographer that you can be. So my job today here is to help you stoke the fires of this passion. And we're going to look at them in, in three ways. And to start with, we're going back to a really simple idea. I'd like you to take a moment Take a moment to think about what it was that initially drew you to photography. Close your eyes, go back and revisit that first time that you picked up a camera. My own first introduction to photography was through my father and my grandfather and they were both very educationally minded. They taught me a great deal about photography and they planted those seeds that were later on nurtured by my lecturers at photo school. When you connect with what initially drew you to photography, you will have a better understanding about why, why it is that you take photographs. Simon Sinek talks at length about this and I did a video about you know, finding your own why in photography in more depth, which I'll link to at the end of this episode. The reason that I want you to think about this why is that that is kind of the source of where your true passion in photography lies, as far as I'm concerned, that, that if you, that's, that's what you, that, that primal connection that you had to, to the hobby in the first place. So when you tap into that, when you tap into that core why, it, it reinvigorates that enthusiasm that you had back then. And it will help you find some direction to pursue with your photography. The reason that passion gets lost or misplaced is that you have no clear idea about what it is that you want to do with your photography. So when you have no idea, when you have no course to sail on, then that's where things start going, going wrong. In my mid twenties, I found myself in a similar position. You know, I was chasing all the fads that were coming out at the time, and 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 thinking that they would rekindle my passion for photography that I'd had in my teens and early twenties, when I had a very clear idea what I wanted to do, which was be a professional photographer. How as wide ranging as that seems, but as soon as I left photo school, I 
I didn't have that goal anymore because initially I'd, 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 I'd gone through the process. I wasn't actually a professional photographer, but, but that's kind of thing. So I was now aimlessly drifting. I was looking for things to rekindle the passion that I had a few years earlier. And none of them really actually helped me because they weren't in the right direction. But they were, actually, they were really, they were kind of diluting my passion. Of course, by all means, by all means, experiment, try things out, explore different genres, you know, recognize which ones are dead ends, though, because that's what I didn't do. I spent so long going after fashions and trends, thinking that each one, if I just worked at it enough, far enough through, would be some sort of like aha moment. Just be so careful about the direction that the photography fans that you are chasing are taking you. If you are stuck for ideas about different types of genres to explore, ways that you can photograph, I'm going to put up some images on screen right now, which I hope will hope you know it give you some sort of spark, so some ideas of what else is out there that might lie be, be beyond your usual expectations of photography. When you look at people's photographs, there is an occasionally a, a weird thing that happens, especially if you're feeling a little bit lost in your own images. And that's that other people's work can be actually demotivating to you. And if you are struggling with that, then we will deal with, well, I'll teach you how to deal with that shortly. All right, so now we've found some direction about where your passion is going to lead you. And it's time to start thinking about how we can keep fueling that passion. Tutorials, how-to manuals, all that sort of stuff, they're, you know, they're, they're fine, okay? They, they give you, you know, the basics in photography and all that sort of stuff. Um, but they are not the be-all and end-all of being a photographer. Being technically proficient is, is really not what's going to keep you enthusiastic. What does keep you enthusiastic is having your own vision, having your own style, if you want to call it that. And, you know, in short, being able to express yourself in a way that feels natural to you. To do this, we need, you need to fuel your passion. You need to bring stuff in because what's inside you is kind of going, it's going to burn out a little bit. So we need to keep adding fuel to the fire. And you are a visual person. You're inspired by photography because you are a visual person. So draw inspiration from anything that's around you, you know, photographers, that's obviously, that's one thing, but, but album covers, movies, you know, TV, all these things, they are adding to your bank of inspiration, that the more that you have there, the more fuel you can stoke every sort of time, that you throw it on there, it gets you enthusiastic when you see something like that. It lights a fire under your backside and, and it makes you want to improve your photography because you have such a rich source of material that you're drawing from. You're not going back to the same pool of inspiration again and again and again. So long as it keeps resonating with you inside here, then that's all that it needs to be. As regular viewers of the channel know, I'm a huge fan of books. I love them and and... I like Amazon, okay, yeah, that's kind of cool, but it has a, a great tool at your disposal, which is go and look up a famous photographer, right, a photographer that you know, because of course one of the reasons, one of the big issues with, with finding new photography is we don't know the names, right, so you go on Amazon and you look and you see, see what happens underneath there where it says, you know, about that other people also looked at this, that and stuff, go down that rabbit hole, check out what other people like, you know, you never know what you might discover. If you don't like Amazon, if you're you know, more of a, a real world kind of person, then go to a local bookstore. Go to a bookstore that has a selection of photography books or a library. They, <laughs> they do still exist somewhere. And go and look at the photography section. Spend an afternoon browsing there. Just look at people you know, who you've never heard of. Make a note of them. You know, see what resonates with you. That's just the point, is to find fresh inspiration, to keep your own 
passion going. If you have your own tip or trick or hack about discovering new photographers, both you know current and classic, please, please do share them with us in the comment section. I'm going to give you a very short selection of the images from some of my own favorite photographers. So I did mention, you know, the idea of like, if, you find, if you're feeling a bit meh, that you can find looking at other people's images a little bit depressing, <laughs> I think is the, the word. And, and this, this, this third approach is, is, is ideally suited for you. But on the surface, it sounds a little bit counterintuitive that, you know, if you are feeling that your passion isn't as, you know, as, as strong as it could be, as, as you feel that it has the potential to be, and your enthusiasm for taking photographs is, is lacking a bit. Well, first of all, that's okay. That's a completely natural thing to feel. But secondly, put the camera down. Take a step back. Just chill for a bit. The very worst thing that can happen is that you end up fighting with your photographs, that you are in a battle to try and unleash your own creativity. You do this because this is fun, right? Not because you have a deadline or a job that you need to complete this by. So... If you are in that battle, step back, give yourself a breather. Right at the beginning of this video, you know, we talked about stereotypes and, and, and one of those stereotypes that is especially prevalent in the modern world is this idea that you need to be continuously hustling, that you need to be on the ball, you need to be 100% into the thing, that it must be an all consuming idea in your life. Now, I don't know about you, Right. But I have other things beyond photography that I'm interested in. You know, I like to grow vegetables and, you know, I like to do DIY. I think I've officially reached middle age. Uh, you know, we all enjoy photography, but it would be extremely detrimental to think that it needs to be some sort of all-encompassing passion. So, you know, if you are feeling a bit down, a bit flat about your images, then remember, it's okay. It's okay for you to wait until you feel a little bit of inspiration or a little bit of in, you know, enthusiasm coming back. Ultimately, this passion that you feel for photography, it, it's here, right? It is inside you. It is part of you. It's not going to go anywhere, right? It will ebb and flow. It ebbs and flows for everybody. And actually, putting the camera down for a little while may open up avenues to you in photography that will take you totally by surprise. And one of those surprising things is, do you remember right at the beginning of the video, I, I talked about, you know, the, 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 the odd way that I've been inspired recently about with my photography and the passion is, well, it's because of you. It's because of you who have been watching this channel. The channel that originally was born out of an idea because I liked Ted Forbes' old videos and he wasn't making those anymore and my studio was closed because of the thing we don't mention. And I thought, do you know what, I've got nothing else to do. I'm going to actually get started on this, this photography, you know, channel idea. I was feeling that I had no enthusiasm for taking pictures of other people's kids because, you know, it wasn't in the direction that I had within me. It wasn't, it wasn't true to my why. So as I've been making these videos, as you have been supporting the channel, as you've been watching and sharing with me the stories of how you have been inspired by these videos, it has rekindled within me my own passion for photography, the, the thing that I love. And actually, now that I think about it, it was what I loved at the beginning is that my dad and my grandfather teaching me about photography. And now, in a weird way, that that... <laughs> that has been passed to, to me and I 
I am finding a passion within my photography for helping you grow about hearing all of the, the, the wonderful stories that you share and, and how I've opened doors for you in photography. And I, I, I just, I have to say, it has been an honor and a privilege to share time with you, to talk to you, to, you know, to, to introduce you to concepts in photography. And, and I feel inspired in a way that I haven't done since I was in my early 20s. You have given me direction, you have fueled my fire on the journey and you have kept me company as I go on my ship towards that horizon. So my heartfelt thanks to all of you. If you are looking to take your own photographic journey, fueled by passion, then it is important to have a community around you that is going to be supportive and, and keep you focused on your own personal you know, um, course. And as a Patreon supporter of the channel, you will have access to such a supportive community. And in addition, you also get monthly image feedback sessions, which are designed to help you grow as a photographer. If you want to find out more, the link is in the description box below. That video I mentioned earlier about finding your own why, you know, I'm going to put it up here, go and check it out, right? Because it, I think it's really crucial that you understand this. Anyway, thank you ever so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you again soon.